Hello, hello, my lovelies. I have a really exciting video. Um, well, this is going to be really exciting for my Canadian viewers who don't already know this, but um, the other day I went to my Walmart and I saw they they sometimes put it like these displays of um, kind of like gift ideas because it's, you know, close to the holidays. And I saw this box and I was like, does that say flower? And I ran over and I was like, Oh my god, it is flower! And then I turned around and there was this big beautiful display. I was just so over the moon when I when I found that. I was like, ah! If you follow my Instagram, which I hope you do, um, I posted a picture of it and I was just like, I'm so happy! <laughs> um, because I've been seeing lots of reviews on on this brand by other, you know, beauty YouTubers, um, but, but it was only available in the States and you couldn't buy online and all that stuff, so I was really like, when you guys come to Canada? And so now they're in Canada, which is fantastic. The only thing is, now this this was kind of, it was kind of like, I was so happy and then I was kind of like, wait, where's all the wet and wild stuff? This particular Walmart I go to has now kind of removed wet and wild, which I hope is just temporary because I don't know where else to get wet and wild. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna talk about is the mini lip chubby set. Now. First off, this is only nine bucks, which I think is a phenomenal deal and a great gift idea if you have someone in your family or you have a friend that you think you know would really dig a nice little cosmetic gift. Uh, you can you can take off the little price bit here because it's got a serrated edge. I don't know how much this sells in the states, um, but for nine bucks Canadian, I don't think this is a bad deal at all. Sizes are smaller than the the full size, but I really don't think. That's like, it's not like mini, mini sizes. So I, I'm gonna, these are gonna last me forever. I'm gonna open it up and show you the colors. The one I'm wearing on my lips here is called Mauve Over. That's what it, uh, little package it's in. So that's Mauve Over. Well, you, and you can also see it on my lips. <laughs> so these are all matte. Um, they have a little bit of moisture to them so they're not so matte that they're drying. I, th I think that's why I really love this product. I think, you know, it it goes on nice and smooth. It isn't like dry when you put it on. So the next one is called Berry More. See that play on words there, Drew? Here's a swatch on my hand. And I did also put it on my lips so you could see it, you know, actually what it looks like on. And I really like this color. I think it's really, really pretty. I'm a big fan of berry tones anyways. I think they really flatter me. I think they flatter most people. So yeah, lovely, lovely color. Love it. Okay, so the last color is called Ready. And it's R-E-D hyphen D-Y. <laughs> and here is the swatch on my hand. And of course, I got it on my lips too. Bam. And I love this, love this red. It is a cool kind of red. So it's got a little bit more to the pink blue direction. And um, it's just such a flattering color. Overall, I think that, first of all, the set, I think the color range that they put in this set is just fantastic. I think every woman can wear these colors. Um, they're very suitable for all kinds of skin tones and it gives you kind of that natural to dramatic range, um, which I think is just perfect. And for $9, who, like, that's awesome. This is awesome. And the product is really good. Like I said, it, it gives you kind of a matte finish without feeling really dry. I mean, there is a matte sort of feeling, like it's not glossy, but it certainly doesn't feel like it's making my lips chapped. Um, I don't even know what else to say. This is a five star product for me. I love it. I think if you buy them, you're gonna be happy. So yeah, that is my absolute rave review on the Lip Chubbies, love them. The next product is this uh, mascara they have. Now this is open, I'm just showing you in the package. It's got an adjustable brush so you can kind of twist the end, I'll show you that in a second. They show that there's like three ways to wear this, um, if you can kind of see that on the on this side. It shows you three ways that you're supposed to be able to use this, so volumizing, curling, and lengthening. I personally like just the lengthening, um, the lengthening, kind of style a little bit better, but it's quite a large brush when it's at its full length. So that's the lengthening. Get a little bit closer. So it's kind of the, oops, I got it on my hand. Darn it. So that is the lengthening uh, kind of style. And then if you go halfway, halfway to the twist, it's supposed to, yeah, halfway is supposed to be curling. 
Is that it? No. Oh yeah, curling. This is supposed to be, supposed to make it curl your lashes more. And then when you pull it all the way, it's a little bit shorter and this is supposed to be volumizing. Now, I don't know. I don't know how you feel about these kind of brushes. I feel like they're a little bit gimmicky. So my initial kind of feeling on this mascara is that I, I do like it. I think the formula is good. Um, it's not too runny and I definitely haven't had any clumping happening with this stuff. But I'm not sure about the whole brush thing. I usually just leave it at lengthening and do like a couple a couple layers. Um, the only downside is the brush is kind of long. So if I'm going, like if you guys have seen me do tutorials, you know that I do my mascara like this. I don't switch it. I find that really hard to do without poking my eyes. So, you know, especially when I go to this side, um, I can kind of poke the end of it on the inner part of my nose there. And that happens to me sometimes with other mascaras. So it's not just this one, but it is quite long. And though I think that the shortest part, you know, the shortest style for volumizing does volumize, I think the middle part, the curling part is kind of gimmicky. I don't think it I haven't really seen any difference in my lashes maintaining or, you know, enhanced curl with that part. So I don't know, take it or leave it. I, I'm personally just like, I normally just like normal mascaras. I don't care for the whole change it 10 different ways. I guess I will have to play with this a little bit more. If you've tried this, what do you think? Overall, I do like the formula and I think that I'm pretty happy with this purchase. I wouldn't say it's like a crap mascara or anything, but I love, love the gold the rose gold packaging. I just, I'm kind of a sucker for rose gold. I think it looks really nice. So the next product is their liquid foundation. And this is called All About Face. This is their kind of liquid foundation line. And the nice thing about Flower that I, my first impression of their kind of selection is they actually have a really nice range of color for their liquid foundation. And they do have, you know, a decent range. I wouldn't say it's like super expensive for their other face products, but they do have a BB cream. They do have a tinted moisturizer. They do have a cream foundation. They have powder foundation. They have um, translucent powder. So they got a, a nice range of face products, which I was really happy to see. Um, I did try their tinted moisturizer and I loved the way it felt. It was, it was too sheer for me because, you know, I do tutorials and that sort of thing. So I lean towards foundation, like a, a fuller coverage, but, um, so far I really like it. I think it feels like, you know, it's got kind of a nice skin appearance, but one thing you should be aware of, if you tend to be really oily, this is not an oil-free product. It does have, um, actually some really nice ingredients like avocado oil, um, they, there's some shea in here. So I haven't used this too many times. Um, I'm, I'm wearing it now. I'm interested to see how this wears over time because, you know, stuff like avocado oil and shea is actually really good, um, for your skin. So, um, yeah, but initially I like it. I think that it, you know, from my experience, I haven't gotten really, really oily with it though. My skin is not super oily. It doesn't tend to go that way. Um, you know, and it's winter time. So you know, if in the summertime, it might be not the best foundation, I'm not sure. So maybe I'll revisit it later around that time just to see if, if I feel any different about it. But yeah, overall, I like it. If you've tried it, let me know. Okay, so those are the products that I wanted to share with you. If you have, uh, if you've tried other beauty, um, flower beauty products that you think are really awesome, let me know in the comments below so I can check them out. And other than that, I hope you enjoyed and until next time, stay beautiful.